Hello and welcome to Pavati TV. I'm your host, uh, Kaya Dubane. Uh, today I'm wearing a different uh, hat because it is the, the UEFA Champions League. And uh, today in the studio I have uh, um, Sean Hunt, a staunch uh, Liverpool uh, supporter, and also uh, Adam Kule uh, Orabi. He's a Manchester City fan, but today he supports um, Spurs. These two gentlemen are going to help us just chase the final. Um, Sean, uh, Liverpool uh, missed out uh, on the chance uh, uh, to win uh, the league in, in England. Um, uh, this uh, Champions League final gives them a chance now to redeem themselves. Do you think uh, they will uh, win this one? Well, you know, uh, this was one of the best seasons we've, we've possibly ever had in the Premier League campaign. and. Um, because we just missed out on first place to Man City, this would definitely be a wonderful consolation prize. And also the fact that this is our second year running in the Champions League final. Last year we were unfortunately beaten by Real Madrid where um, our goalkeeper made some really terrible mistakes which led to their win. But uh, we leave that in the past for now and we focus on the future. This is possibly a good chance, especially with the experience that they've gained over the last two seasons. Let's just hope that this whole, um, this whole voodoo over Jurgen Klopp losing finals doesn't affect anything. As Liverpool supporters, we are 100% behind the team and we're not going to let any of that voodoo get to us. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the question. I, I think uh, one thing we need to understand about this game is... Uh, uh, Liverpool is quite strong and they play final last season, they're playing final again this season as well and we could see how close they, they came through to Man City. Um, and I, I'll be speaking as a fan and I'll also be speaking at, also I lighten the odds against this game as well. Um, Tottenham, they're not, they're not a pushover and we are, we are very much aware that Harry Kane is, is back in form and I, I think uh, I see Tottenham uh, beating uh, Liverpool tomorrow and uh, it's going to be a, it's not going to be a, an easy game, but I, I think Liverpool is going to lose tomorrow, and, and Tottenham will take the trophy. And I, I think also they beat uh, Man City to, to to get this far, and and, and I think that that comes to their purpose, and that comes with a reason. And I think they will go tomorrow. We should give it to Tottenham, and my prediction is uh, two two to one, Tottenham two and Liverpool one. So, uh, Ade was brave enough uh, to give us a, a two one prediction in favor of Spurs. Uh, do you have your own prediction? Well, uh, I'm going to be completely one-sided here and I'm going to be bold enough to go with the prediction that I think we're going to blow Tottenham away. I'm looking at possibly a 4-1, if not 5-1. Tottenham's not going to know what hit them. Uh, talking about the Champions League, uh, the legendary uh, Thierry Henry, uh, who played for Arsenal and also Barcelona, is here in South Africa. Um, he will be at uh, Kayalami Racecourse. Uh, to, to watch the game uh, with, the, with the fans. Um, as usual, Pagati was there uh, uh, today when they actually had the press conference. Uh, um, take a look at this and as, as, as for us, uh, see you on Monday when you review the game. Terry, I mean, you've thought long and hard of this. I mean, finally, tomorrow is going to be happening. Your prediction? I don't like to give predictions before games. Uh, I thought when I was in Sky, I had to. Uh, <laughs> Games are so difficult to call, especially when you see the runs of the two teams. People are talking about Liverpool, that they deserve it. But Tottenham, look at what they did. Yeah. Uh, can you say also that they don't deserve it? I don't know, may the best win. <coughs> <laughs> may the best win is that, is that Tottenham? <laughs> hey? Let's pretend we're at Sky right now. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't. You can ask a friend of mine right there and never make predictions. At all? No, seriously, I don't. And your heart, though, but outside of predictions, do you look, I mean, Lauren said she has a soft spot for somebody like Jurgen Klopp. Do you have those emotional, not predictions, but where you feel maybe it belongs to Team A or Team B? No, no, I, not at all. I, actually, it's funny that you're saying this because that exact discussion is already in front of mine, and I'm not naming teams. For me, you leave the cup, then I say, oh, you deserve it. You don't deserve something for the cup. <laughs> I don't, when people said to me, oh, it would be great, it would be great, you win, then I tell you how great you were, or how you deserved it, or you were lucky, or not. 
win it, let me talk. Okay. That's the analysis done. <laughs> <laughs>